How long would it take to mine one Bitcoin? What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, it's been 37 days since the 2024 Bitcoin halving. Since then, Bitcoin mining profitability has dropped dramatically. And not just because of the Bitcoin halving, but mining profitability for all Bitcoin miners has dropped across the board. So it's May of 2024. And let's take a look at two Bitcoin miners and their daily profitability. Oh, that's going to hurt. And finally, how long it would take to mine one Bitcoin with each of them. Before we go too much further in today's video, I want to give a special shout out to the team over at Jingle Mining for sponsoring today's video. I've had the pleasure of working with the team over at Jingle Mining for the last three years as I've grown as a content creator and a home crypto miner starting with the X41U, then moving on to the X4Q, and finally the new X16Q. These miners, hands down, are some of the best, most efficient, most reliable, and some of the quietest miners in the industry. If you're in the market to purchase your next crypto miner, go over and check out Jingle Mining. They now carry some of my favorite ASIC miners like Jazz Miner, Gold Shell, Bitmain, Ice River, and many more. Go check out jinglemining.com via the link in today's video description and use the special code down below to give you a discount at checkout. Hey, a listen. quick disclaimer, Bitcoin and mining profitability fluctuates dramatically. Today's video is a snapshot of what it looks like today, May 26th of 2024. Before you go buying a crypto miner, do your own research, and this video is just for fun. First up is the Bitmain Antminer S19K Pro. I bought this unit back on October 18th of 2023 for $1,850. And when it was first released, it was doing 120 terahash Bitcoin mining. But since then, Bitmain has released a firmware update to push it upwards of 140 terahash. Let's see how profitable this unit is today and how long it would take to mine one Bitcoin with the Bitmain Antminer S19K Pro. So here we are over on today's video sponsor's website, Jingle Mining. And there's actually two models now of the S19K Pro. First up is the 120 terahash model that goes for $1,490. And the 115 terahash model goes for a few dollars less for $1,359. A decent way away from what I paid for this unit back on October 18th of 2023. As I talked about, I do all my own testing and base all of my numbers and metrics off of at the wall and actual hash rate, not basing anything off of the advertising that Bitmain advertises for the hash rate or the watts. So we'll be using the 137 terahash on the miner at 3,520 watts at the wall. Give you an idea as to today's Bitcoin price right now at the time of recording this, Bitcoin is at $69,035, so close to reaching that 70,000 mark once again. So let's go over here to what to mine. If you guys haven't visited this website before, if you come up here to coins, this is a great tool to use. Come down to Bitcoin and here, we're going to enter all of our own metrics. This is what I highly recommend that you guys do. So we're going to put in 137 terahash for the performance of this model with my testing for the power. We're going to use 3,520 watts. Yes, that is what I got at the wall with my S19K Pro out in my ASIC mining shed. We're going to base this off of 10 cent kilowatt hour because it's a little bit more realistic. However, I do know that some of you guys pay 15, 20, 30 cents, and I feel for you, honestly. So let's hit calculate here. Now, as of today, May 26th, we are going to be looking not necessarily straight up at the profitability, which is negative $1.15, but we are going to be looking actually at the estimated rewards per day to help us determine how many days it would take to mine one Bitcoin. But please keep in mind electric as you start to shop for Bitcoin or any other crypto miners, because that is a cost that is one of the most expensive items when buying a crypto miner 
is your operating expenses for electric. So be careful. So as of today, May 26th of 2024, if you have a Bitmain Antminer S19K Pro, or you've decided to go ahead and buy just one and run it at home, let's say, and we're just talking about estimated rewards in Bitcoin. We're not talking about electric or anything like that, but please keep that in mind and do your research. This unit right now, as of today, its estimated rewards per month are 0.003168 Bitcoin per month. So what does that mean? Well, if we're going to take one Bitcoin, which we're trying to earn here and see how long it would take, and we divide that one Bitcoin by our amount that we would make per day with the S19K Pro, that would be 315 months it would take to earn one Bitcoin. So let's put that in calculations of days. So let's take that and let's times it by an average of 30 days in a month, let's say. It would take you 9,469 days to earn just that one Bitcoin. What's up guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but wanna keep you in the know. So are you new at mining or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you wanna buy, you're not sure what build you wanna do, need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step-by-step -step installing Hive OS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well. I offer one-on-one -on -one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new CASPA miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So there's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video. Next up is the Bitmain Amp Miner S21, the best Bitcoin miner on the market as of today, coming in at 200 terahash. Well, back on January 12th of 2024, I bought my first one for $4,500. And then again, a few months later, in preparation for the Bitcoin halving, I bought four more S21s. Let's find out how well they do. All right, we're back over on today's video sponsor's website, Jingle Mining. And there's three different S21s. The first one is the 200 terahash model. And that's the model I ended up getting coming in at $3,920 as of today. The second unit is 195 terahash coming in at $3,700. And the final one is 188 terahash at $3,520. Now, as we talked about previously, I do all my testing and use all my metrics based off what I see at the wall and on the miner. So in normal mode, this unit does 197 terahash at 3,535 watts, which is a lot, but it still comes in at 17.94. For an efficiency however this unit did come with low power mode which is really good just around that 16 mark for joules per terahash so 156 for a terahash and 2522 watts this thing is an absolute beast on low power mode but let's use our normal metrics here for our calculations so we're going to go back over to what to mine we're going to go down to bitcoin we're going to input in 197 and 3535 for our Bitcoin numbers here. Once again, we're going to use 10 cents for our kilowatt hour for our electric, but I want you to do your own research and type in your own numbers here, especially before you purchase your own S21. We're going to hit calculate and coming down to this unit, the per month estimated rewards, which is what we've been basing things off of is 0.0045. Or seven. Now let's go over and do some math. All right, so taking a look at the numbers, we're going to go ahead and put in our one Bitcoin that we're looking to reach. We're going to divide that by our estimated rewards per month, just like we did with the S19K Pro, which is at 0 
that's going to give us 219 months. So pretty significant of a difference between the S19K Pro, which is 350. We're now going to take this and times it by an average of 30 days to give us a total still of 6,597 days to go ahead and mine one Bitcoin. Are we nuts for buying Bitcoin miners right now? Maybe, but in reality, mining profitability for Bitcoin mining is way low. And I mean the lowest that I think I've ever seen it. Now, the Bitcoin halving definitely hasn't helped that. Should this scare you? Well, a little bit, but I wanted to give you guys some realistic numbers to educate you before going and buying a Bitcoin miner right now at the end of May of 2024. So some may argue, don't bother buying miners, go ahead and DCA in. And to that, I'd say it's not a bad strategy, especially right now for dollar cost averaging into buying Bitcoin. However, for me, I'm going to continue mining and my plan is to continue mining and paying the electric out of pocket in to 2025, where I hope the full bull run hits. And at that point, I not only will sell my Bitcoin, but I'll also sell my Bitcoin miners. And I'm eager to see if I get even more money for them when the market is popping off. Now, personally, I've moved a lot of my altcoin miners over to NiceHash. And what does that let you do? It lets you mine the native token, like something like Caspa or something like Nervos with the K7 or maybe Dogecoin with the Alphapex DG1 and then get paid out in straight Bitcoin. It's actually more profitable. I mean, a lot more profitable to be mining altcoins right now. And something like my DG1 Plus, as of today on NiceHash, is paying me over $20 a day in Bitcoin, almost close to $30 actually, to be realistic. I just did a video on it the other day. Well, guys, that's going to wrap things up for today. I appreciate you guys joining me. Not the numbers that you probably expected but check out these two additional videos that I think you'll enjoy.